Hi, my name is Natasha Creative and you're in my arts and crafts studio. Welcome to everyone. I'm so happy today because I'm going to show you uh, my new line of products. I have four new mediums that you're going to be able to create uh, lots of things with it because it's preparing all your surfaces to receive paint or even uh, whatever you want to create uh, your pieces. So let me talk to you about all the mediums that we have. Uh, we have four kinds of medium and there's one liter of uh, th these mediums and you can even have it in an eight ounce uh, con container. So that's great for uh, uh, the one that are very creative <laughs> and the other one that wants to try and test it. So we have four medium. The first one, the one that I love best and you're gonna use a lot is the decoupage medium. So this one is great. You'll see why in a couple of minutes. We have a matte uh, varnish that you could use like a sealer or even like a varnish. So whatever you want to do with it, this is the best thing to, to use and you'll see why in a couple of minutes too. Then we have a glaze, and the glaze is, ner is natural, it's no colors in there, in there. so you could uh, put paint in there and do whatever you want, like full finishes and create dimension, and so you're going to have a lot of fun with this one too. And the last one is the top coat varnish. The top coat varnish is the one that you're going to use when you're finished with your piece and you want to uh, do a, a beautiful finish and it's gonna be uh, even, you know, something that you're gonna use every time you're gonna finish all your wood pieces or even your furniture or your canvases. So let me show you what we can do with all these products. I'm so happy to show you this. So we're gonna start with, let me see. Well, where, where is it? <laughs> okay, we're gonna start with the uh, decoupage medium. This one is the one that you're gonna use the most. Uh, because uh, that's the one that's exceptional. So why? Because we're gonna glue everything with an iron. So this is really fun because you're gonna be able to do so much things. And the thing that's really cool with it is that when you finish all the glue, uh, the gluing, gluing? No, I don't know if you say that, but I mean, when you're finished putting all the, the medium on the top of your piece and then you put the tissue paper or your textile and you iron it, the thing that's really cool is you won't have any wrinkles. So that's the medium that's extraordinary because no wrinkle, no texture, it's going to be very, very smooth. And that's the thing that's really cool for these uh, particular creations. So I think your imagination is going to be wild. <laughs> so just to give you an example of what I did with these, these uh, medium, uh, like if you could see here, this is a canvas that I've glued uh, my textile and then I painted a rose. So just to show you how it's beautiful to work with. You could even put paper tissue on wood like this and it gives you this kind of uh, piece. So that's really great. You could even put it on canvas. This is a wood piece, but if you want, you could put it on canvases. So this is great. Like you could see it's very, very... Uh, smooth and we have nine different uh, tissue paper that I have in my collection these are the nine different ones it gives you an idea of what you could do with those and but you don't have to use only this you could even use all the kinds of, of textile that you want you could use whatever kind of paper you want it could even be like paper that you use in books that old books uh, it could be a picture, it could be a lot of different uh, kinds of uh, mediums. Uh, this one, because I, <laughs> you cannot iron uh, some, uh, uh, this kind of uh, textile, uh, I've, I've put it in paper. So this is a good idea <laughs> to do beautiful things. Uh, the, other, the other thing that's really nice in the back of all our packaging, like you can see here, there's all the explanation in French and English. So don't worry if you don't remember all the things you have to do. It's all really, really good the explaining. Uh, all the details and the instruction are there. So, so there we're going to start with the, uh, the medium, the decoupage medium. And the first thing I did, 
did. I've put our already medium on this canvas, this oval one, and I'm going to show you how to put it on a wood piece. Uh, so you could put it on metal, on um, like a paper craft, uh, like a, car a cardboard craft. Uh, you could put it on canvas, on wood, and if you put it on natural wood like this one, it's really nice. It depends which paper you're going to take. But if you want to paint the piece before, you could do that again, like put like um, chalk paint or even acrylic. And when it's dry, then you could put the medium over. So if there's papers that have like uh, different um, uh, models and there's like white on the background or it's like blue or green, well, you could even take the colors on the background of the paper to be able to do like different uh, patterns and uh, different I, how could I say this? It's like um, different colors. So you'll see. I, I'm sure that you're going to find my English sometimes. I don't practice enough, but still I'm trying. <laughs> so first of all, we're going to do the other one with the canvas in a couple of minutes. I'm going to put um, my iron. It's going to be ready. And let's try with the medium on the, this wood piece. So this one is natural. I didn't paint it. But if you want, you could paint. Let me show you this one. What I did is I've painted the background with a very light gray. And then I did, I did like a stencil with a pink stencil over here. And after I've put my paper tissue on this side and this one. So you could even cut the paper where you want it. Like if there's flowers or different designs that you like and you want to put only these designs on the on the on the background well you could do it and cut whatever you want and then stick it on the on the piece uh, this one the flower one is the one that i like best uh, the tissue paper is very beautiful so you could cut whatever you want in the mod the model of the paper and then you put you put it back on the background wherever you want so this is what I did here. It's very beautiful. And this is to put like some jewelry on here. So it's really nice, easy to do really fast. This is the fun thing about it. I did different boxes here for sh whoops, shoe boxes. So here are the shoe boxes that I did with this pattern. It's really nice and it's easy. So that was the thing that I was saying. If you have ca like cardboard, this is cardboard. And you could put it on and it works. So that's a, another kind of uh, surface that you could use. I did it on a wood piece here that I even put resin over. So like you could see there's resin over there. And this is my uh, tissue paper on the background that I put with the glue and the iron. And then I've put the resin over. So it's really, really nice. <laughs> and for the textile, what I was saying to you is this. This is one of the textiles that I've choose uh, for this wood piece. And then I added uh, a knob and uh, whatever. I mean, it, it's your imagination is going to really go away, go and create a be beautiful things with there, with this, I mean. Okay, so let's try. First of all, let me show you how to do it on a wood piece. I've tried a couple of times this beautiful paper. It's like an old... Uh, newspaper and the thing that's really nice with this one is the paper the background is like natural so uh, the thing that's really nice with this is that the wood piece all the grain that you see in the wood is gonna be showing through this paper tissue so that's gonna be really really nice so imagine all the creations that you could do with it you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna really like it so the first thing you have to do is to put some medium. I, I have a big bottle, that's why I use it here, but this is the medium that you're going to use, the decoupage medium. And then with a brush, you're going to apply all over the piece the medium that you are preparing for gluing all the paper or the tissue you want to put. So the way that you are going to um, put this it doesn't really matter because you won't see it. The thing that's really important to know is that you have to put, if you put tissue paper, uh, all paper that's really thin, you have to put only one coat of this medium. You don't need to have to put more. 
be careful not doing a lot of texture when you're applying it so don't put too much you don't need to put too much and you let dry completely before you glue anything so you put this all over the piece it goes really well it's really thick so don't don't worry it won't show and if you have a, a kind of textile a textile that's very thick if it's not cotton like really thin put two coats so you put one coat you let dry and then you put a second coat and it's going to be better for you when you're going to glue it with the iron because or else if the the tissue not the tissue but i mean the textile is too thick it's going to need more glue to be able to be uh, all smooth all over so don't don't put just one coat just but this all these instruction all of them are in the papers in the background of the tissue and the bottles so you could even put it on the the sides if you want to put the paper on the sides so i'm doing this all over and then i let dry about 30 minutes to one hour it depends of the air that you have in your house or if you're doing it outside it could even like diff uh, maybe in the time of drying it could be more than 30 minutes but it's almost 30 minutes to an hour so it's important let to let dry everything so it's really easy and it's fast to do you'll see why so so we're going to put this aside and wait that everything dries and now what we're going to do is the one that I did a couple of minutes ago just before I, I started the, the, the video. So this one is dry, okay, it's a novel piece and I wanted to show you with it and I've put like two coats on there because uh, I, I'm going to put some textile on here. So this is my beautiful flower that I flowers that I found I really love this I'm maybe going to paint something like I did with the rose so what you're going to do is put the textile over look what kind of pattern you want on the on the surface and be careful if you want to put it on the side that it goes really really well and don't worry if there's like wrinkle on the tissue or the textile because it's going to go away with the iron so don't worry so put it on there and then we're gonna prepare the iron I have a beautiful small iron that I really love let me show you that you're gonna find it really cute so this little iron is so nice I, I've put I've bought it at Amazon and it's really cool to do all your craft uh, projects so it's not too big it's easy to use and um, it's fast too, it, it gets really hot fast. So the second thing you really need is parchment paper, okay, because don't take the ones that, um, I don't know how to say it in English, but papier ciré, that's the name. <laughs> so that one don't use, just the parchment uh, paper is the best for this. And then, oops, this one is a bit used, so let me get another new one. Okay, so you put it over and then you iron the piece. So it's easy. <laughs> and you'll see, you'll see it, it glues really well. So you go over the piece, and if you take a canvas that's not quality canvas, what's gonna happen? It, sometimes it goes like up in the middle, like this. Uh, you better take a canvas that's a, a bit more quality uh, to do this, this, this piece, or else what you have to do is take really good care of putting something under like that it won't do any wrinkles on the on the top of the surface of your piece because sometimes the canvas is not um, strong enough to receive the, the paper or the textile so go and it goes really fast just be sure to put your iron everywhere that it glows it glues very well everywhere so this is what I'm doing so if you see there's little places that 
there's wrinkles, you just go over and over and it, it's going to get off. You won't have any more. Okay. So, wrinkle right here. So, here you go. So, this one is glued. Normally, I don't do this over. I need the parchment paper. And then if you want to go and do the sides, you could do the sides too. So what I'm going to do is just take off a little bit of a tissue. It's going to be easier for me to do it. It is so fun to use. So if you want to do like arts piece uh, for a big canvas and do a uh, mix medias on there and create, it could be with textile, it could be with tissue paper, it could be with even paper. Uh, you could mix different kind of, uh, uh, oops, here. You can mix different kind of uh, uh, medium to put on the canvas or even on whatever surface you're using. So here I go on the side. So you could put the medium on the side and glue like this and stick with the uh, iron. So don't keep the iron too long on the tissue like this because it could go and burn. So if you're not, if you're not, if you go too fast, it's okay. But if you're not fast enough, uh, put the parchment paper over here because you don't want to burn or even get the tissue being yellow or even brown because this is what it's going to do if it burns. So you put over like this. And you do it all around the piece like this. Okay. On an oval piece, it's a little bit trickier because it's not it's not straight. But still, you'll see what I mean. So you do the you do this all around. Okay this and it's fast just a little bit of hot iron and it glues on the piece so just to show you how it glues really well here here look it is glued on there really okay so the piece is really really ready and now when you're finished with the piece let me try to Gonna show you on I'm gonna go really fast in here because I want to show you what to do after if you want to paint over the piece you need to prep it so and the way to do it is to put the matte varnish so the matte varnish has two uh, ways to work with it. it it's a matte varnish that you could use at the end but one of the things that I really do like to do with it is to prep my piece for painting. So everyone that does decorative painting and wants to uh, prepare the piece, it could be on paper tissue, it could be on textile, uh, it could be on whatever you want. You have to prep it before painting on it or else the paper is going to be wrinkling. So you, you need to um, prepare it for for it and it's going to be great after if you want to paint whatever you want on there it could be on oil it could be acrylic whatever you want to do with it okay so my it's all done it's all glued like you could see it okay then once this is done okay you're gonna put that matte varnish let me see which one is the matte varnish this one okay so we're going to take the matte varnish and apply it all over this piece. Now, this this is a tricky thing. You have to know. Uh, do I have a brush? I'm going to take the same brush. Uh, when you're going to put some matte varnish on your piece once it's glued, you have to know that it's going to wrinkle a bit. Don't worry. This is maybe the, the panic moment, you know. Everybody's going to say, oh, my God, how come it does that? Don't worry, it's not a problem. Let it dry. Don't work on it. Don't, I mean, don't go in over and over and over to try to get the wrinkles out of there. Don't do that. Just wait. 
put all the medium over, I mean the varnish, the matte varnish, you put it all over here, okay, and let it dry. On this piece, it's not going to wrinkle really because it's tissue, it's like, it's textile, it's tissue, but on tissue paper that's very thin, it's going to wrinkle for sure when you're going to put the medium there, I mean the, the matte varnish, and it's okay, don't worry. <laughs> That's the, the only thing that people could like a, a bit panic when they see that, but let it dry and it's going to be smooth as the first step that you did when you glued the piece. So, and that's the only thing that could get, you could get a bit nervous. <laughs> so you put this all over, you let it dry, and then you're going to be ready to paint whatever you want on there. So you could put acrylic, oils, whatever, and then when you're finished, you have to just put like if you want to put back matte varnish just because you don't like the the lust i mean not the lust but i mean the uh varnish that's very very you know um how could i say that the top coat varnish is very uh lustre how do you say lustre i'm like <laughs> looking for my words uh well it's very glossy yeah i found it <laughs> so if you don't want a glossy finish use uh, the matte varnish but if you want a glossy finish use the top coat uh, uh, varnish <laughs> sorry there's sometimes my words are not uh, going fast in my head <laughs> i don't practice enough my english so okay so this is a real it's gonna be really nice you're gonna be able to do whatever you want over this you could put like what i said like a rose or flowers uh, any kind of design could be beautiful on there so now I with the time that I've I'm talking with you my piece is almost dry so you know what we're gonna do I'm gonna take my my air my blow dryer and I'm gonna just dry a bit my piece don't put it too too uh, close when you want to do this you want to dry it faster put it a bit further further or it's not crack or else the medium is gonna crack so it's almost dry so I, I want to show you with the tissue paper what it does ready you're gonna see it's really green okay so then you do the same thing you put the paper over the piece let me just take this piece out because there's too much in here okay and you'll see how fun this is gonna be because I'm gonna take off the excess of the piece uh, the, the paper in a way that you're gonna find really really fun okay so this should be okay then I put the paper the uh, parts of the paper over this and then I iron the same thing okay so you iron the piece it goes really fast on wood you'll see it's even better than on canvas so I do this easy and you're gonna love this for sure because I'm sure that all the ideas that you have in your head now that you're seeing me doing this it's gonna be uh, easy for you to create so beautiful backgrounds uh, for mixed medias or even for your paint projects in art or even for wood furniture uh, like if you want to recycle a wood, a wood piece so you're gonna love this okay so it's glued like you can see it's really glued Aha, yay. So I'm going to do the sides. Just to show you, I'm going to do one side. 
to show you how easy this is going to be. And when I'm telling you that if you want to put like the uh, uh, varnish that's very glossy on there, you're going to see the wood grain on, on a surface. So it's going to be really beautiful. You could go and see on my Instagram or on my website, I put a lot of articles. So if you want to go, I know it's in French. I don't have the English version of my website yet. But if I see there's a, a big demand, well, I will do it. So you could go on natashacreative.com and you will find different articles. And on YouTube, I, I have my channel too. So you could go on YouTube to see my different art pieces that I do, articles and creations. So I'm going to put this one here. Take a little scissor and cut it here. So it's really easy, fast, and if you want to order some products or even paper, uh, tissue, you could find it on my website on the first page when you arrive on the website. Um, there's a place where it's written there uh, that you could order the, the products. So you click on there and you're going to be arriving directly to the website where you could buy all the products. Okay. So just to give you an idea what I was talking to you about, just to kind of kick off this piece, why I was saying this is, okay, so I'm, I'm still going to do the other sides, okay, but I want to show you how easy this is to take off after, okay? So if you want to take off the tissue paper on the sides here, because this is glued on there, like you can see it, it's really glued, so... You use this, uh, it's a sponge for, uh, to, you know, to, um, what do you say? Sable in English, my God. Well, I'm, I think you know what I mean. <laughs> so you, you do this and it, take off, it takes off all the tissue really fast and it doesn't break. So that's the fun thing about it. So you just do this and it goes away really, really easy. So that's a, a way to do it. So let me take off this little piece. So I don't know if you see it, but okay. So this is the rest of that I'm, that I'm, going, I'm going to glue. Okay. But still, I think you have an idea what it does. Here I did it. Let me show you. I did it on a canvas. Here, and I took off all the sides I kept this side white because I'm gonna paint it so I'm gonna do a creative thing on there so I don't know if you could see it on the camera but there's a it's very glossy okay because I've put some oh you hear you there you see this uh, so why, why it's glossy because I've put the uh, varnish the glossy one it's the finished top coat gloss, uh, varnish I mean so this is on there I wanted to do some tests to, to show you how it is. And it's very durable. I mean, it doesn't, you cannot take it off. It's very, very uh, smooth. Like I said, no wrinkle, no texture. It's perfect. So you're going to love this for sure. So just to show you again, this little piece, now it's ready. It's almost dry. It goes really fast with the, the uh, uh, matte varnish that I put on there. And I'm going to be able to paint something over. So it's great so thank you so much I hope I hope I gave you some ideas to work with these pieces I mean different pieces and different surfaces and if you follow me on Instagram or even on my lives that I do on Natasha Creative on my Facebook I do a lot of lives I know it's in French I'm gonna start doing more in English and you could see different things that I do with the uh, my products because I talked about I talk about them every week so so I, ha I hope you like this uh, demo and please subscribe on my channel if you want to see more uh, videos uh, from me, Natasha Creative and uh, see you soon in another uh, video.